What's going on? Some more bracketology. I'm going to do a bracketology for, uh, I don't know, a couple different teams. I don't know which ones. But uh, first, I'm going to start with the Creighton Blue Jays. Uh, Creighton played out of the Big East this year. Um, they lost to Providence today in the Big East Championship. Coming into this week, they were ranked number AP, They were ranked 14th in the AP poll. Uh, they were 8 in the RPI. Um, if they won today, since they did lose today, I, I was thinking if they won today the Big East Championship, they would have probably been a two seed. I would have said a two or three seed. Um, now, with the loss of Providence, I still think they're probably a three, four seed, probably more on the four line. Um, Crane's a team to watch out for, though. they got a lot of uh, veteran play, uh, players um, led by Doug McDermott, their senior star. Averages 27 points a game, seven rebounds. Uh, he's a deadly shooter. They're, uh, they actually, the Sports Illustrated this month had a picture of. It's supposed to be like him, uh, like a re a reassemble or whatever that word is. Uh, like a retake of this Sports Illustrated they had of Larry Bird. Larry Bird with these like two cheerleaders around him. Well, they did one of uh, Doug McDermott saying, "Can he make a Larry Bird type run?" And I think, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna put up Larry Bird numbers. Larry Bird was putting up like close to triple doubles in the tournament for Indiana State back in the day. But uh, I could see McDermott in leading Creighton a while. Um, you know, I could see, I could definitely see him. I definitely see him Sweet 16. I I could see him easily Elite Eight, and I wouldn't be surprised if Final Four. We gotta see their drawing, see their matchups. But um, Creighton. I mean, Creighton beat a lot of uh, a lot of tournament teams. With Tulsa, Tulsa won the Conference USA today. They beat Tulsa by 10. Uh, they beat Arizona State out of the Pac-12 by 28. Who's going to be in the tournament? They beat St. Joseph's, uh, another team who's actually there in the A-10 championship tomorrow against VCU. Uh, beat Nebraska by 15. A team is supposed to be in from the Big Ten. Uh, beat Xavier by six. They also lost one to Xavier, split or split them apart. But they, they beat Xavier twice, though, because they just beat him yesterday in the Big East tournament. But beat Xavier twice, um, beat Villanova twice. Villanova coming into this week was AP number three, and Villanova uh, only has four losses. And not only did Creighton beat Villanova, Creighton beat Villanova by 26 and beat them by 21. Um, they also have a win over Providence by 15, and then, but also they have two losses to Providence today in the Big East Championship. They lost to Providence, then they lost once in the season. But you know, and and also of their, they have seven losses now, two of them to Providence. Their losses are all very good losses. Um, at Xavier, who's RPI is four in the t in the 40s, um, at Georgetown, who's you know RPI 67, which is you know right at attorney attorney level team, but they're not going to be in. Um, and lost at, now it's at Georgetown, lost at St. John's. St. John's a very good team. Uh, lost to San Diego State, who we know is very good. They're RPI number 14, only lost them by 6. And lost to George Washington um, by 7. George Washington's RPI is 29 before this week started, and they got to the semifinals in the A-10, losing to VCU today. So they don't have any bad losses. Have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Have it have over seven have beat seven uh, tournament teams, um, and then the one the one stack I would le Creighton remember this is they're second in the nation in assists per game with 18 assists a game, which is very good in the tournament, which means they're very good passing team that's going to translate well to the tournament. So and and to top that, if you're a good passing team and shoot well, that's even better because you're it means you're passing the ball and I mean you could pass it you could be the best I mean. You're not going to be the best assist team. You're not going to be a high assist team unless you make shots. And they're fourth in the nation in field goal percentage at almost 50% a game. Uh, there's field goal percentage of the team that shoot 50% a game. So that's fourth in the nation, and they're second in the, assist, second in the nation in assists with 18 assists a game. Um, my prediction, like I said, it's, I'm not going. I'm going to say prediction, a hard prediction, um, as in saying like uh, just based off not knowing their spot. I'll say Creighton for sure, Sweet 16. And I probably say I wouldn't be surprised Elite Eight. I probably will have them Elite Eight. You know, they'd have to run into a crazy bad matchup, but I'm probably going to create an Elite Eight. All right, cheers.